Good day guys. So this aptitude session that we're going to have right now is going to be on symbols and series. So what's going to be given to you is a set of symbols or a set of sort of icons which have some kind of relationship between the first one and the one which comes after that. So all you have to do is kind of find out what is that specific relation or pattern that is taking place between all of the individual symbols and then give us what is going to come next. So quickly, without wasting any time, let me go ahead and pull up the PDF. Okay. So let me know if you can see the PDF. Yes, it is visible. Okay. <clears throat> so again, just to recap, as I was saying, it's given here that each of the questions on the left side is the pattern that you're supposed to be looking at. And this is from where you're supposed to be trying to find a pattern that is taking place from the left side one is going to be the first one. And this is the second one, third, fourth and fifth in the series. So from the five over here, you have to find a pattern and then find what is going to come sixth from these five on the right side, which is A, B, C, D and E. So now that we have understood that pattern, let's move on. A another example is given over here of the same thing. Uh, again, since the PDF is shared, you can go ahead and read all of the small examples that they've given, etc. So here they've explained exactly how this one is specifically working but we can also go ahead and look at the problems. So let's move ahead with the practice problems. So the first question looks pretty easy. As you see, it's pretty familiar. We know that that looks like a clock. So you have the first one showing you the clock position at 12 and three, and then you can see the further how they are going ahead with. So who's going to come up with what is going to be the correct answer to this? option b okay and what's your reasoning behind it after uh, 12 it's clockwise no. direction yes so basically sometimes what happens is uh, they will show you that the first one in the series and the fifth one in the series is the same so what this means is that we are coming back again from the start so sometimes they might trick you by making the first and the third one the same, which means that the pattern repeats after only three. So the fourth one will be the uh, second one in your series and the fifth one will be the third one. So you, in case it's same, then you can just simply say that the pattern is completed and now it will just repeat again. So in this case, B goes here because as you see, we want to get the second one and that's B. You can also see in terms of rotation of 90 degrees. So if I rotate this, you know, in the clockwise fashion by 90 degrees, I'll get this, then rotate that, I'll get this, rotate that, I'll get this, rotate that, I'll get this. You can also keep track of where is the long or a longer, let me zoom in. So you can see the longer one. So you can keep track of which side is the longer one. So the longer one is at 12, then the long, longer one is at three, Longer one is at six, longer one is at nine, 12, and then back again at three. So great. That's the first one. Next, we come to the second one. So first we have just a line. One second, someone wants to join in. Okay. So first we have just a line. Next, we have line and a dot and it carries on. So who's going to pull up? What's the correct answer for this one along with the logic? When it comes to time management, these should be pretty quick because normally the ones where you have the cube, so they'll give you a dice and they'll tell you, you know, you have numbers one, five, three visible, what is at the back? Those tend to take a little bit more time because you have to visualize all six numbers and make sure that everything is correct. So these should be pretty quick around 10 to 20 seconds per question. It should be the third one. Third one. Okay. And the reasoning, the so like uh, yeah. 
so like uh, till the fourth one till the first three four figures uh, same like uh, this progression in the pattern and then the first four patterns are repeated on the low, down side okay so that is how uh, that is my logic behind it. okay great uh, so one more thing uh, or an- another way of thinking about this is from each pattern that we move to the right side only one more line or one more point can be added at a time so that means you see first you have just this so only one more item can be added so in this horizontal, case horizontal oh, line up to point maybe yeah. one second this this let this people join in add bit all okay uh, james you have raised your hand do you want to speak up something James. Okay, I guess it was by accident. F- no issues. Is it the fifth one? So we are currently on the second one. So as I was just saying that you know after the next one, following the previous one, it's just going to have one additional item. So it can be either one additional line or a point. So everywhere you have one additional line and a point. so you can check from here compared to this which one of the options has only one additional point and a line and everything else from the previous one has to be there so if you see option number c and d this one also has the same one additional line but the previous dot is missing so this tells you that this cannot be the answer okay so two possible ways of getting this thing done next we have question number 3 let me zoom in slightly okay okay let's go i'll just move the mouse away so when you are focusing on these problems don't try to just say i am learning only this specific question you're learning different techniques that the interviewing team who has set the paper is going to try to trick you with so here we understood multiple ways of how they have set this question so is that applicable over here that is how you'll be able to crack the aptitude test not by checking out okay this is a circle problem but find out what is the technique that was used to create this problem and that is what you have to remember last one okay what's the logic one line is adding up in the circle yes perfect so uh, if you see in these two questions someone might say these two questions are massively different this is like some you know triangles meeting together this is a circle how are they related but to the interviewer who has set this question paper both of these are same because both are on the logic of one additional item will be added so this is a important thing that you can keep even a note of so that if you can't find out any logic you can check is one additional item being added if yes then that might be the logic one line is adding at 90 degree yeah so it can be one line or it can be one item because if you see here even a dot was considered as a new addition so you can just say one additional item will be added in the next one so great again we see it just keeps on adding one 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 new item so this will be the final answer perfect let's go to question number 4 so this is an important thing that you can make note that one additional item is a strategy that they might use to create this question so if you can crack that within 5 seconds your answer is done so you can save time as well third option okay third option based on one line is removing one line is one, one line is being removed so you saw how powerful this is you are just massively crushing these questions right now because someone might think that okay some kind of rotation is happening something like that but or whether this is something like a clock or something like that but this is just simple one line is being added one line is being subtracted or one line or one item again okay let's go to question number 5 k <clears throat> okay. okay and logic third one anti clockwise rotation maybe okay so, so you are saying option number 3 right so one we have two answers now option number a and option number 3 so what's the logic let's see if it's applying so when we see the dark circle like okay. uh, we targeting dark circle it will be like a rotating cl- what we call anti clockwise okay so 
only the dark circle because if you see the shape also is rotating as a whole so what about that so two things are happening the dark circle is moving or is it the entire shape that is changing yeah, uh, within uh, like inter shape is also like rotating no because if you see inter shape the dark circle is always to towards the sort of left side yeah. of the gray dot if you look at it from a proper point of view and then only the entire shape is first like some kind of a triangle pointing towards like the 1 o'clock location and then the second one is coming to the uh, towards the 12 o'clock position so and then the third one is going towards the 11 o'clock so it's almost like a 45 degree shift that is taking place in the entire shape so if i just call this into 45 degrees you can think about it as uh maybe what i can do is i can open up paint paint okay so if i have this as a clock okay this is slightly bad let's go to pen let's go yeah so if this is your 90 degrees this is 90 you're not sharing the screen oh i'm not okay okay one second one second one second i need to go to share full screen get yeah, this and then this now it's visible right no we do it's not what is wrong with the no it? okay now it's going to start i think mm. Maybe I'll keep my camera off. Can maybe give some better internet or something. Okay, now it's visible, right? For sure. Yes, I do. Okay, so if you see from twelve o'clock to three o'clock, you have a ninety degree angle. So that means from almost you know one o'clock or two o'clock, you'll have your forty five degrees angle. So if we apply this in this case. over here you see that look where the white dot or the white circle is pointing at it's pointing towards the uh, 1 o'clock location then the 12 o'clock location then the 11 o'clock or 11 and 10 be between those two sort of location then you're going to have your 9 o'clock location then your 7 o'clock so what's the next number that it's going to come out to it's going to come out to 6 so which one of these from over here points the white at 6 o'clock for sure so that's going to be the answer someone was mentioning that the black dot is moving inside as well but i don't see that so maybe if he can explain that we can try to you know clear that misconception because if you see in all cases if i'm going clockwise i'm getting black white gray black white gray in all cases if i go clockwise which means that the three circles by themselves are not rotating it is only the entire shape that is rotating by 45 degrees in anti clockwise in anti clockwise so that's why we're going from you sort of this 1 o'clock position to straight then 11 o'clock to 9 o'clock 3 3 i think it is you yeah so if you, if you want to talk about in degrees it's going to be 45 else you can even just think about it as you know half from 12 to 3 that's going to be between 1 o'clock and 2 o'clock so that position so you can think about it like that or you can even just go based on the degrees but thinking about 45 degrees might be a little bit harder so that's why you can even think using numbers as well okay so next one we are going to go for is the question number 6 so before that any doubts on question number 5 we can clear it out all good abit no all good sounds good sounds good okay so question number 6 let's give it a try third option okay so you see the third option okay let's wait for more fifth. answers uh fifth e e okay 
let us see if anyone else has anything to add on if not we can have the reasoning for the third one first they are all going to the shape like triangle pentagon hexagon so octagon and third one is hexagon so that's why okay fifth one be. maybe okay. and what's the reasoning for the uh, person who said fifth one yeah so so after each figure one element is being added and then like uh, then the opposite two sides are becoming symmetric hmm so that's the reasoning behind uh, selecting e1 okay so but why do but why did you think of this opposite taking place are, are you just saying opposite means you don't care you're just saying it, it basically half of a polygon or how, how did you come up with this opposite the right half mm, i didn't focus on the opposite part okay so you just went with the slicing in half part yeah okay okay so the correct answer is going to be again uh, the fifth one which is option number e and that's because these are just basically sliced up polygons so the first one would not be considered as a triangle it's actually half of a square and then uh, with with four sides then you have your half of your pentagon followed by half of your uh, hexagon and then follows on so the number of the sides of the polygon that you're cutting in half will increase but still it's just going to be half so in this case uh, whether you have it opposite or not doesn't matter because the number of sides is important if you see this one it's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 to the 14 so that would be additional number of sides and it would not fit in the series so that's why this would not be the correct answer and this will be the correct answer Okay. Next, we move on to question number seven. A any issues with this question number six? You can stop me at any point of time. If not, we are currently moving to question number seven. So. One more technique. One second. Someone is just trying to join in. We have Rakesh joining in. So remember how I told you one of the technique is one new thing can be added in each of the models. One more thing is it can be alternating. So that means something happens on the first one. In the second one, it does not happen. Something happens on the third one. In the fourth one, it does not happen. So that same thing has has to happen on the fifth one. This will help you. sort of a method of 50 50 how they say in kbc so if something has to happen that means any options which that something does not happen are immediately out of the park so this is another strategy that you can use to reduce options and then once you have reduced options from there on you can just check what is the finer details it's d option number d okay what's your reasoning behind it so i saw that uh, the four the answer will be similar to the fourth one okay, okay. see seeing the pattern and then uh, like uh, in like the third position sorry third one from uh, right bottom right position so there is dark spot so that is only in case of d that is why d okay so again that's great so as you said uh, you first of all saw the alternating pattern which is the first thing which is here you have the standing sort of a thing then you have horizontal i h kind of standing i h yeah. i h yeah so i h i h you can think about it that or you can even think about it as a vertical and horizontal you know larger figure so immediately once i see the i i know the next one has to be an h so immediately i don't even have to break my head on 
option number three and option number five i can save time instead of you know getting confused by these so that's one great thing next we see that in this sort of uh, five that are given to us once a given color is either shaded or not it remains in that position it does not change so we see that here we had a simple outline shape that same outline shape has remained all throughout the same and wherever we have a dark shape the same dark shape has remained the same so now we need to go to the next one which is going to be a edge shape with a dark shape and light shape on this side so that's your option number d so hopefully this has been understood this is clubbing two different patterns so in this case the technique that you can use is first find the easy pattern which is this ih 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 that immediately you'll see that then get rid of your options which are not useful or are impossible options once i know the i is here that means the i options over here are impossible so don't even think about those those will just be confusing you next step find the finer details so from there you can see okay once i have one shape all of the same position of that shape are of that same color once i have the second shape all of those the shapes at that position are of the same color so black even if the shape becomes from a square to a star the black is still shaded so that's what you need to identify and then find that in your it shapes because those two are impossible and that's how you get your answer so you can break up the question like this and it will be pretty easy for you to get the answer extremely quick which can help you boost up your score in aptitude so question number eight let's go D. Okay, option number D. Why? <clears throat> uh, so we can see that uh, first there is pentagon, then on the fourth position there is pentagon, then square, then on the fourth position there is square. So similar, using similar analogy, it has to be a circle, and uh, we can see that uh, that uh, the black dot is rotating uh, towards the uh, like anticlockwise. So that is why uh, not uh, option A. Okay, so perfect. So as you said, you have identified two of the patterns that are taking place here correctly. So if you don't identify both of them, it might take longer for you to find the correct answer. So the first thing that you need to identify is what shape is it going to be? So as I said, once you see the same shape as the first one coming back again, you know that next shape is again also verified for you. So now you're sure that means if these two shapes have come back in the same question, the next shape will follow so immediately i can get rid of this question or this sort of option option c will get rid of it and we can get rid of option number d so two questions or two options are basically uh, become impossible now so those will be eliminated and then you can simply focus on what is inside so you have first at 12 o'clock then you have a 45 degree shift anti-clockwise then at nine o'clock then around seven o'clock and then six so next one will be around this position which is around four four o'clock so now we need a circle and four immediately you can um, pinpoint the location so one thing is you have to be a little bit careful because if you see here you have this at around four o'clock and this at around three o'clock but they sometimes look pretty similar if you just you know have a look at it fast you might think that they're almost the same so pay attention that you don't lose marks on stuff like this because even if you know that the correct answer is this one you might select this one in the options so be sure that when selecting the options you just double check that the option you're marking for is the same one that you're trying to uh, mark for because otherwise you're simply wasting you know silly mistakes your marks okay so let's go to question number nine looks like no issues on that no no please tell me the timing the timing of, 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 of this one yes i didn't understand okay okay, okay so what i'll do is let me just screenshot this and then draw it out okay so let's focus on the question now so here we have 
this is the center of our this thing this is the direction that we have so this is at around 12 or 0 degrees let's just keep it with numbers around 12 this one is going from here to here which is let's call this around 11 o'clock the next one is going from here to here which is around 9 next one is going from here to here which is 7 next one is going from here to here this whole area which is 6 so what is going to come in this pattern next so we have the 12 followed by half of 12 and 9 then you have 9 then you have half of 9 and 6 which is like around 7 o'clock slightly and then you have 6 so now you'll have the half of 3 if I draw it in blue over here it will be the half of 3 and 6 so what is that that's going to be around here which is around 4 o'clock the next one so whatever is in blue is for the next one so now that we have pinpointed number 4 you can identify this as your correct option any issues if you have any question you can ask no no understand that so is B is the answer or uh, D is the answer? I'm confused. So B is the answer, but one one second. The the reason why we are eliminating this is look at the pattern of the shapes now. No no D. I'm talking about D. Yes. Yeah. Oh D D. Okay okay. One second. So that's what I was saying. The confusion between these two is that this one has it at this position, and this one has it at this position. But we don't want big gaps. We don't want this full gap. We want to go half and then full. So that is what this one is, which is half between 6 and 3. And then we will get 3. So we'll not immediately go from 6 to 3 because that will break the pattern of the numbers. So we went from 9, 7, 6. So it has to go 6, 4, 3. So next in this, where is the circle and number 4 position? The dot, which is option number B. That's why we choose this one. Any issues? So wrong and this one will be correct. Uh, is it clear why option number D is not going to be the correct answer? Yes. yes. Okay, so then we can proceed. So in this case, what we have is we have it going from 12 to 11 and then between uh, 12 and 9, we had 11. So that that's done. Then you have 9. Then between 9 and 6, what is there? That's 7. That comes in. Then 6. So next has to be between 6 and 3, which is 4. That's exactly what we get over here with the circle. And that's why that's the final answer. So let's close that. And we can now move to question number 9. Is it the first one? A. Okay, and e explanation? So, like uh, the figure is getting inverted in the fifth position. Okay. So, and that's how it should be uh, this thing. Great observation. So, basically, you're saying from here to here, it's sort of getting a mirrored image or an inversion. So this one should just be mirrored and you'll get this image because it can't be this because this will be the same option. But here, if you see, they are not the same. They are inverted. You can see this bottom side is slightly larger than the top side. And over here, the top side option is a. slightly. Yes, perfect. Option a so here is where they tried to trick some people who thought that it is the same. So they put this. So you might think, oh, same means this has to go next. So many people might go for option D and get it as a wrong answer. So you have to pay attention to this slight larger base over here. And this has been shifted over here to the top, which means it is an inverted one. So whatever is coming next is going to be 
inverted so that's why you get option a great observation let's move to option uh, question number 10 fifth one okay and the observation or the reason first and second pattern is continuing i think perfect so you're saying that basically first the whatever is over here is shown over here which means that the pattern is about to repeat and nothing is different between the first and second not like you know this is open it's same same to same which means the second one should also be same to same which puts us to option e that's correct anyone has any issues with this so here you can see the difference between sort of inversion taking place and same to same which means same to same you have to also go with the one which is exactly matching the second one okay looks like no issues we can go with the question number 11 d okay and logic so like uh, it is an enclosing uh, point from that uh, particular line i mean uh, uh, it is joining completely like uh, like enclosing that particular space that particular triangle okay but what is the pattern because if you are saying enclosing that means it should be enclosing a triangle in all of the pattern so that is not the logic the logic is adding one more line so, yeah, so that, that yeah. Like, uh, and adding one more line only. Yeah. I mean, so uh, enclosing the triangle is correct. That's what is happening in the yeah. position. But the logic that is connecting all of them is one one line more is being added on each of the patterns. So perfect. So again, you see simple stuff. It has been repeated again over here. So this this time it's with triangles. But same, you can just see one additional line is being or one additional item is being added. So this technique, if you can memorize massively going to speed up your process another one we can see over here is this repeat so repeat can be there or it can be repeat with a slight twist so you can keep on the look for all of those let's go to 12th one c okay so again nice and simple let's proceed to the question number 13 i think b d right or b b, is b. b b okay b for ball okay let's wait for any other answers B, B. Okay. And the reasoning is that one of the sort of, you know, semicircle Bottom arcs okay. is removed. Someone was trying to say something? The reason behind bottom to top curve removing. Yeah. So, as you said, one of the sort of loops will be. Uh, you call it loops or arcs or whatever like you know this sort of semicircle shape one of those will be removed for each of the given patterns and then you'll have the rest remaining over here so if you see this one goes off then the top side so you're left with this so now again this goes off so you're left with uh, that okay so now next we have question number 14 he 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 so someone said a i think uh if anyone said a kindly explain how how you're getting a or maybe that was by mistake so someone said e so kindly explain pattern is repeating okay so as you said what's going to happen is the pattern will repeat <clears throat> one second something is in my eye i think 
Okay, so first things first is all our circles. So we see that we have this sort of uh, alternating thing that we need a line dot line dot line. So next is going to be a dot. So immediately we can make this impossible, make option number D impossible, option number A impossible. So now we just need to see what is happening between the line and the dot. We see that if the line is straight, the dot is also straight in the same direction. If the line is over here, dot is over here. So the line is here. So dot has to be also in the same position. So that's why option E is the correct answer. So great. Any questions from anyone? No questions. Perfect. Okay, so we go to question number 15. It's also E. And the logic? That uh, it's rotating. Okay. Anti-clockwise. Perfect. 90 degrees. But it also and has there is one more pattern. Also. Yeah, alternating yeah, on the shading. White, black, white, black, white. Colored square and out. Yeah, outline. Ah, uh, yes. So again, now they are getting slightly tricky where they are giving you rotation plus some pattern of this alternating. So you need to keep an eye on that. Moment you see uh, alternating means you can get rid of some questions or some options from here which become impossible. So here it is white, which means these white guys will be uh, impossible. Immediately you can get rid of them. So once you have less options, very high chance that you will not make a mistake in selecting the wrong answer. And you can see the rotation pattern also much quicker. Okay. Also over here, if you see another thing is the rep repetition. So if you see here, the first one is here and this first one is again over here. So we can again say that this will be the next one because it also matches this pattern. So perfect. 15 is done. Now let's go to 16. D. And the logic. One line is being, one added, line is being added. Yeah. Simple as that. You can see the pattern being built line by line. So we just have to complete the next one with one additional line. So, but nothing else should be removed. So if you see in this case, some lines might be disappeared or something like that. Okay. Next we have question number 17. B. B and D. B, B. Okay, so the person who said B and D, uh, why was D coming to your mind? Um, both are looking same, no? B1 also and D1 also. Both are uh, look, both look alike. So, yeah, to some extent, uh, maybe in this case it was just a issue. Let's see. So, what is the logic but behind it? That same pattern. Alternate patterns, I'll say. Okay, so again, like the sort of, you know, standing sort of, uh, like, you know, standing sort of figure and then the horizontal, so standing, yes, yes, horizontal, yes. standing and horizontal. And each Stand. point of time, the same thing is being replicated, no change. So we can easily identify it. Great. So now we come to question number 18. B. Okay. B. And the answer is going to be why? One item removing. One item removing is one part of it. And, and, shaded and also the shaded color shade will give you the confirmation. So one yes. uh, one line removing is your pattern. Confirmation is your uh, shaded, shaded yeah. one. So double confirmation means immediately go for that next question. Okay, let's go. Question number 19. 
E. Okay, let's wait for some uh, so, some more answers. E. E. So someone said A. Or was it E only? Okay, so the person who said E kindly explain for everyone else. Maybe Am Amston can explain as well, since he it's, said. It's uh, it's like two two patterns change every time. Like two two patterns alternately change. Okay. Alternate change. Yeah. Great. So immediately we can see since always the circle is at the bottom, these two become impossible. We can get rid of that. Again, we see that none of them have a shaded sort of you know rectangle. So this also becomes impossible, impossible, impossible. Now we only are stuck with option C or option E. So if you see here, we have this pattern, but this doesn't tell us much. After that, we see the next two are a pattern or a repeat. And after two, uh, again, this starts for two. So we can assume that this is actually taken from an area where the pattern is repeating two, two each. So two light and then two with the shaded parts. So this is also part of it. Before this would have been also light, but that is not part of the question. So they have just started from here. But from these four together, we can identify the pattern, which says that the next one will be option E, which is shaded and the dot remains also in the uh, opposite side of wherever it was over here. So that shift also takes place. So, okay, great. Let's go to question number 20. If there's no issues, no issues. C, option C. Okay, so this time it's a rotation of exactly 90 degrees. So it is much easy to, I understand one second, someone is just trying to join in. Okay, he's admitted. Now we can proceed. So if you see the 90 degrees is quite obvious, the rotation. So immediately you can just point out very easily to see. Also, at the same time, it's also a repeat of the same first one again. So you can uh, say this is going to be next. Okay, let's go to question number 21. E. E. Okay, and the logic is? Uh, it is first one is not shaded and then it is being shaded in the same pattern. Rotating. Yeah. But then why did you go from three non-colored to one colored? So the next one should be colored. So you're, you're assuming that every four of them will be colored, right? Yes, yes. Okay, good. And at the same time, the alternating just gives you additional confirmation as well. Yes. Okay. So any questions on question number 21 by anyone? If not, we can proceed to the next question. I'll give you guys like 10 seconds just to check out if you have any issues. Okay. Looks like we can proceed with no issues. Question number 22. First option. Okay, let's wait for someone else. Same. Let's hear the explanation. First four patterns are or are on the end and after uh, fourth, the fifth one is on the second one. So the next will be the first one. Okay, so you're, you're saying that basically uh, the same shapes will continue because here we see that the same shape is being repeated, but we can just use, you know, this, this sort of shape and this sort of shape as your confirmation. But what is happening here is the sort of colored one is on the edges. Yeah. Now this time it is going into uh, the second one will is getting colored. So that's why we'll have this and confirmation is that the shape is different compared to the uh, fifth, fifth option over here. So def definitely it will be this one as well as the uh, bar is colored in the second position. So great. Uh, anyone has any issues? 
or any questions of how it's coming no okay we can proceed to question number 23 then let's go D. okay let's give others a little bit five seconds or D, ten D. seconds more D. looks like everyone has got the correct answer nice and quick and the explanation just in case anyone is still just having some doubts what's the explanation yeah so the, like uh, inside that circle dark side it is like moving uh, anti clockwise so we see now the two outer circle i mean in, the, in this square okay the shaded is like uh, opposite yeah so always the sort of you know the shaded part is opposite of the shaded inner part and at the same time this is rotating so simply we have to just find the rotation make sure that the color is also opposite and we get exactly what we need perfect next we have question number 24 d okay so you're saying d right d for dog yes yes okay let's wait for more answers yeah Anyone with any other answer? Okay, let's hear the explanation. The shaded portion is opposite to each other in the coming pattern. So here, if you see the first one, uh, how is this one? Uh, the shaded portion is opposite to in, in terms of here. Alternate. Okay, so no, you're saying alternate. this is down, then this is here. Then you're saying this one is the opposite of this. No, no. Opposite means... Um, Inverse? The uh, see, the first one is down, then yeah. it's uh, the third one is up. Hmm. Likewise, the second one is sideways, and the yeah, pointing one towards the right side, so this will be pointing towards the left side. Yes, yes, that's so. great. And then this one is pointing towards here, hmm. so you'll have it's it. It's vertical, so the next one will be horizontal. Mm -hmm. So one thing is, they have never changed the direction of what is happening so this does not become horizontal to vertical the shape of how the black uh, items are remains exactly how it is, is they the are just B? rotating it by 180 degrees so if it is here it will go here something like that yes so in this case you know the second one also you see the same thing is just rotating it by 180 degrees so if it's at pointing towards three o'clock goes towards nine o'clock but in this case they have shown it as uh what do you call this straight up so the 180 degree ro rotation would not make any difference to it so i would have marked option number c see how because i'm imagine this option if i rotate yes. it upside down i still get the same thing because both are colored oh. but the uh, it's yeah. not d it's not d no i don't think it would be d because we don't because have any, like any shifting about the mid no every alternative figure it's like mirroring while every alternative like one in three see if you mirror one you get three yeah so I'll, I'll, I'll just draw it out maybe one second go here go here 
Okay, so mirroring basically means you have to chop it in half, and then the same thing will happen on the opposite side of it. So red and red, let's cut it over here. That means whatever is on the bottom side will go on the top side. This we see this is working out. So I'll call it as a green. As a green. Next over here, we have to chop this model in half over here. I'll do it with a green color. Okay, so here we we have to see whatever is happening on this side is now going to come over here, and whatever is happening on this side is going to come over here. So it just rotated by one eighty degrees this way. Mm -hmm. That's the mirror. So here, if I'm doing the mirror, I'll have to cut it like this. Because if you see over here, if I cut it like this, I'm not getting what I need. It's switching. So I need to cut it like this because I'm rotating it one eighty degrees. I can maybe even do that inside paint. One second, let me try that out. If I go here, uh, Control A, delete all of that stuff, paste this over here. Yeah, okay. Now I need to select it. And can I rotate it? Ah, rotate. Okay, so if I say rotate by ninety means midway, and then I need to rotate by ninety again. Now we have this pattern, which is the same pattern that we are getting after rotating the object by one eighty degree. So just to show you that, I can show it on the previous ones. Let's say we take option number A. go back to paint paste it over here rotate this by 180 degrees we get option number c so you see this is option number c option number c then if you take this one which is option the second one in the series paste it over here oh i just messed that up slightly one second rotate by 180 degrees we get option number the third one which is perfect So now when we take this one same logic which is oh one second uh copy this out paste and then rotate by 180 so if you see this when we rotate by 180 there is no change so therefore this will be option number mm, where is that here option c make making sense yes so yes if you open the pdf it does say b is the correct answer but that i'm not really sure of you know how to uh, you want to see this basically while answering the exam while answering the exam you only try to get something that is uh, making sense on the spot so most likely you will be choosing uh, one of these options Okay, so maybe it could be an uh, error, so we can I come back later. So, which how one is the right option? Yeah. How after fifth figure, then the sixth figure will be option C, because the pattern is repeating like alternately, right? So, this uh, the the option C will be the seventh figure, na? Oh yeah, actually, I didn't think of that. I think so. B is the uh, so B option is the correct answer. Mm. So B is what they are saying is correct, but then how do you explain this? I am thinking like D, uh, like because uh, so uh, yeah, so like first first like first pattern is like uh, like I mean in in the pattern like vertical and horizontal. So like uh, first one is like vertical shaded part when we concentrating on shaded part. Okay. It is like an vertical side, and uh, so in second side it is like an horizontal. And another side, like it is like an once again vertical, mm. and fourth it it will be like horizontal. So once again it is like an vertical side. So next next pattern it it has to be there in horizontal. Like uh, when we observe like that, it will be like um, uh, D option. Um, so as 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 that like simple logic. I when I'm thinking like it in simple logic. Uh, when you concentrating on the shaded part. Okay. So that is one good observation. What I didn't think about is that option number uh, what do you call that? Option number C 
is so, actually yeah. going to be the next one as you said but let me just read out what they are calling it uh for the options or maybe we can even come to this one uh later since you're having some issues you know exactly with this but I yeah i think it is still b b yeah so you're saying that it's going to be like vertical sort of horizontal vertical horizontal vertical uh, what horizontal. i was thinking was what i was thinking was hmm. the first and the fifth one are just different in the way that addition black dot is there okay Hmm. the second the, the second and the fifth uh, the second and the fifth uh, option b they will be just different in the way that additional this thing is there uh, black spot one black there. dot yeah that was my thinking okay but then the question is that black dot is moving as well right yeah Okay that so, does that does make sense that does make sense So you're saying that basically this and this is the same pattern but you're having yeah. one additional black dot or one additional yeah. black square So the next one is going to be this pattern itself and that is why we can get this pattern over here plus one black dot which makes perfect sense So yeah I think that's a good way of uh you know thinking about things and giving us b which is also the correct answer according to the pdf uh does everyone sort of understand what you were trying to explain yes okay let's go to the next one option a b so we have a and b let's see b the no, bus. no, B, B. Okay. B, B. So now we have all mentioning B as the correct answer, and let's have the explanation. The yeah, alternative. Okay. So you have arrow alternating one with arrow, one just lines, one arrow, one just lines, one arrow. So now next one is just going to be just lines, and the rest all of them have arrows. So immediately those become impossible, and you get your answer. perfect so we have just crossed around 1 hour mark let's try to keep this short so that we are fresh as well so we'll come back at a later stage tomorrow maybe and then we can proceed with the rest of the questions so we have just i think another few questions left which we can wind off or maybe we'll just finish them off right now and then we can go to the next topic as well so i think that will be better since only four are left let's go with question number 26 Well, the answer of B, twenty-five. Sorry, uh, twenty-six. Twenty-six. What was the answer of twenty-five? Uh, twenty-five was B because you have line arrow, line arrow, line arrow. So you have arrow over here. So next one should be only lines, but all of the option number A, C, D, and E have arrows. So they are becoming not possible. So only option left is option B. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. So now we're going to question number twenty-six. Okay anyone with question 26 So you can see one pattern immediately be. that it is diamond square diamond square diamond so next is going to be a square or option E immediately you can forget about it 
so that's one pattern now you only have to focus on the inside a b c or d option d d okay why the color is alternating and one more line is added the color is rotated and one more line is added okay and then what about the color when is the color added the color is added after you complete like one sort of triangle shape so one line is being added but every time you complete a triangle you then fill it up on the next step so in this fashion you'll get a additional line over here and that will be option d any issues by anyone again uh okay you want the explanation again so first thing first for confirmation is we have diamond square diamond square diamond so next one has to be a square so immediately option e gets discarded so till now we have a b c or d as the possible options till here is it good yeah yeah so so that's how we are eliminating option e now coming to this uh in inside part on each of the options as you go ahead we are adding one more line so over here we had this position now we have just added one more line over here once we complete this sort of closed shape then on the next step we paint that closed shape so we have this triangle formed which is a closed shape then the next step we have just painted that so painting also is counted as adding something new which is why there is no additional line over here after the painting is complete then we have added a new line over here so this is the new addition in this one so now that this block is complete if you see this is a completed triangle inside over here in this step we paint that triangle which has been done so now that i have this i need to look in this option for a square which has half of it this sort of diamond shape uh, diamond cut in half painted with one additional line because that is going to be the next sort of uh, stage yeah got it okay let's go to the next one question number 27 oh guys great news i just got a email right now from fleet that i got selected for their from their interview stuff so now i just need to go for their medicals and psychometric so i'm not sure what that is but great stuff thank you Congress, bro. Congress, bro. Ah, uh, the good part of this is this. Congress. Yeah, this this fleet one is fleet with IMS core. So I might actually miss out on the interview experience of IMS core because usually if you come with sponsorship, then you only have to pass the aptitude part and the mechanical part, and you are inside IMS core. So yeah, let's see how things go. But I'll try to get Scorpio if possible. But I'm not sure if you can sort of deny sponsorship because then it might cause some blacklisting issues and stuff like that. So I might just have to stick with this. Let's see how things go. But let's pro proceed with question number twenty-seven. We can discuss about that later. Anyone with question number twenty-seven? I'll give you some little bit more time. Is it option C? Maybe C. Okay, so you guys are saying option C. I would like to have the explanation. So, like the, the like in closing, I mean, continue continuation of. Life. Okay. 
so looks like what's happening is one additional thing is happening that first we add a line over here then if the line is added whatever the line is connecting that gets painted so again a new line this line is connecting so here it gets painted so now that we just we get this next one is just going to be one additional line which is option c so that's perfect any issues with this anyone looks like no issues so you can go to question number 28 Oops. What option was that? A. Okay, let's give others a little bit more time. Okay, in the meantime, you can explain what was your logical reasoning behind this. Clockwise direction rotating. Okay. And at the same time, you can even confirm it by saying that here the two circles are in the same level horizontally. Here they are almost in the same level vertically. Here horizontal, here vertical, here horizontal. So it has to be vertical. So immediately we can get rid of this option. We can get rid of this option. We can get, get rid of this option. So these are the two options that are left. Then you can apply your uh, clockwise logic so here we have it on this side then you have it at the bottom which means over here they have to be on this side towards the nine o'clock location because here they are closer to number three here they are closer to number six so here they will be closer to number nine making sense right so six both are close to number six then they're going to close to number nine going close to number twelve going close to number three, going close to number six, and then following that is close to number nine, which is again also the repeat of option number two. Someone just wanted to join, but sadly we are about to end, but I guess we can have a look. Okay, so question number 29, second last problem for the day. Let's go. C. C. Okay, what's the logical reasoning? Yeah, like uh, alternate only. So okay, so one, one part is as you said alternating as in you're talking about the angle So this is pointing towards sort of you know right and left and this is sort of in this position opposite of that Then again this position no. again this position. First, time, first time second first time second. Yeah But then how did you go for this one and not any like this one? What is the next part of it? Which one? So, um, so one part is this like the orientation that it is like this, then like this, then like this, like this, like this. So next is going to be. Yeah, it is like C. Okay. Because it also has to be slightly fat if you see over here like fat thin fat thin back again fat yeah great so let's go to question number 30 which is the last one for today uh, it is also like alternative one like, yeah so the shape is becoming like you know vertically large then horizontally vertical horizontally vertical horizontally plus you have light shaded light shaded light so now the next one which is going to be so we're looking for shaded at the same time horizontal which is horizontal. matching 
on directly option a so simply we have to conclude now this because option a is the correct answer so if anyone has any issues with any of the current 30 that we solved kindly let me know i'll just give you a brief glance of the 30 right here and this is 25 to 14 anyone said you want additional explanation and then this is 1 to 12 so coming to this let me quickly summarize what we have learned here first thing to notice maybe i can even make a note of it somewhere over here uh let me just go ahead grab this maybe uh here can i write on this now or is it too blurry yeah it's getting blurry so i can't write over here bad idea mm. Okay, forget, I'll just speak about it then. So what we see here is we learned all of these 30 we have solved. But what is the key points that you need to learn is, or what we learned is, one thing is they will use rotation. That is what they're doing over here. But if I see the same one as the first one happening anywhere in between, that means the next one will be the next one as shown over here. So if option number four was the same as option number one, then option five will be the option number two and option number six which is the answer will be option number three or if for example in this case which is the fifth one is same as the first one then the next answer will be the second one that is one type of technique that they might use number two is over here which is one new item so they will just add one new item in the next one but at the same time you should not mess up any of the previous part so that is what we saw over here and then again here we saw one new thing added here we saw one line removed then we saw some stuff like cutting in half here we had this sort of uh, part where you can confirm your answer where we first thought about this i and h i h i h so this i h i h i h helps you to reduce the number of choices so your mind immediately gets more clarity the moment you do this so you have an i so you know my answer is only an h so immediately i and i you forget about those you're only looking at the h so your, your mind gets much more clarity to find a pattern so that that helps you massively then again we saw that if the pattern is repeating but inverted then you need to pay attention that you don't select the same thing back again because this will be a trap so interviewers will love to use this because someone who has not practiced a lot will fall into this trap thinking that oh just the same thing again so you will fall in trap and that's why they gave this slightly looking similar looking object like for the first and last one so if someone is just quickly you know in time rush like he thinks that aptitude i'll do at the end it'll be very easy very easy he might just think that this and this is same and put this option lose the marks over there and that might be the difference so this was sort of a trap question but luckily none of you fell for the trap we all got the correct answer because you can see that here the base is slightly broader but here the top is slightly broader which means it is inverted this one is nice and simple which is same exactly it is replicated from first and the fifth option which means this is also going to be exactly replicated then we had again same stuff over here rotation and shaded line shaded line so this also helps you to confirm your options plus over here we have shaded not shaded shaded or black and white black and white black and white so this also helps you to confirm your answer so all of that stuff is great and then here again we had something missing something there something missing something there so arrow lines arrow lines so immediately you know arrow means all of the ones which have arrow in the answers will be discarded because we want lines to be there so only this is the possible correct answer and then here is again where we saw shape is like larger vertically larger horizontally black white black white immediately you can pinpoint this answer within 10 seconds so once you understand these key techniques that they'll try to use on you, immediately you can crack this position. Because otherwise, if you just start thinking about what is happening over here without understanding the, the techniques that are being used, you'll waste maybe 30 seconds to try and get the correct answer. So that is one thing that you need to uh, pay attention to. And that's all for this topic. I think at the bottom, they might give us some more practice questions. Let me just check out. Uh, no, looks like the rest is new stuff. So we have completed this whole thing, which is called uh, symbols in a series. So we're finding a pattern. 
and then we are completing that out uh, so this was the end of today's uh, session it went slightly longer because there were only four left uh, so we might as well finish it off in this only so thank you guys for joining uh, let me go ahead and stop sharing okay so any of you guys want to ask any questions regarding today's session or something like that or all clear all good okay if the, all is then clear then we the can this, this timing only. yeah is this comfortable for everyone like 6 pm for me it's comfortable yeah it's perfect okay because some people said that in the morning you know seven o'clock they have to prepare for breakfast because at eight o'clock some of them have class and all of that so because of that we went for the 6 p.m today looks like everyone can join so we'll continue unless you guys have any issues do let us know and we'll make the changes as per what is feasible with most number of people okay so for now goodbye